Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. Today I'm in the technical lab at our UK hub in Chatterton, Manchester. Let's get started. In this video, we're looking at the setup and configuration of the Vanderbilt Blue C, which is a Bluetooth reader. We're going to be looking at the setup with this reader on the um, ACT Pro 1500 or the 1520. In order for these systems to work, you will need to download um, the ActWin Pro Lite or Pro software. The app needs to be installed on the um, on your smartphone. Um, so the go to your app store and search for VI Mobile ID. Users will of the app need a, a working email address on their phone, ideally. So what happens is within the portal, the mobile credential portal, um, you create a user and you email them with a, an activation code. They then simply open their app, the VR Mobile ID app, and it asks for an activation code. They type in that number or copy and paste it from the email and that will activate it. And then the app is ready to go on the phone. And also you will need to enroll into the V credential um, portal to manage the, the virtual tokens. So first of all, let's um, log in to the um, Vanderbilt website where you can download the software. So the easiest way to find it is simply search Vanderbilt Shop UK, click on the link, it takes you to the Vanderbilt website, go to access control and products, and then go to software and licenses, and go to the ActPro software. Uh, from there, download the software under the software tag. Once that's installed, uh, you'll end up with a couple of programs on your machine, and it's a good idea to just put them on the desktop. It's easier for you to find. The first step is to manage the um, portal. So you need to either log in to your portal or register an account. Now I've already got an account, so I'm just gonna log in. And you can see here, I've already got a site, but let's imagine it's a new installation. So you would add a new site, fill in all the relevant information, uh, email address and what have you. And so it's the site name, you give your clients a site name, the um, the email address. So, it, it, you know, it could be head office, could be corporate, it could be local branch, it could be trade council, whatever it is. When the invitation sent via email, that's what it will appear as. So you could have an administer if you want, or the person's name or HR. It would come from that address there at vcredential.com. Um, time zone, make sure you set your time zone to your local area. Um, the administrator's name, as you can see, mine's populated from my name. And the email address, in case you want to reply back to the email, populate that with the information. And if you simply add site account, um, it will create an account much like this one here. So here's one I've created, ADI Tech. So if I go into select that, from this point I can send a new invitation to somebody, the username, say it was um, John. So go to John, his email address, and this will be his card number that you would issue to him. Um, so when the credentials sent through on the email and activated within the app, this is the card number you would import into um, ActWin as their token number. But don't worry, you don't. You, you can either do it now or you can do it later. Uh, and that will show you the um, active credentials. And you can see here, I've already got one. And there's my card number within my version of ActWin. Once you've, once you've done that, you can log out and then it's time to log into ActWin. Okay, so there's two versions of um, ActWin when you install it. We're going to start with install because we're going to install the, the controller, assign a door and assign a reader to a door. So I'll launch the software. You don't need to populate the password, just press login if you're on a Windows machine. 
Let's go to quick setup. Auto discovering. We're adding a, an ACT 1500 and the 1520. So press next. The scanner will scan the network and find all controllers which match. So it's found the 1500 and the 1520. Let's tick and add them. Then at the bottom there, add new. Yes, we want to add these. It's confirmed they're added. Press OK. At the bottom there, next. Click that. We can do a little test to make sure everything's working. So select all the doors. Let's unlock the doors. As I unlock, I can hear the relays click. Let's lock them. They lock. And then normalize. Make sure everything's OK. At the bottom there, press next. Now, let's go to the door. Left click, click on details. We're going to change the door name. So let's call this the front door. Press save. That's the front door saved. And there we go. Two doors added to act when light. With that done, let's head to controller hub groups. Let's click on controller one and go to operations and support. Let's enable the web server and support OSDP. Now the, the blue C reader that I'm using is an OSDP reader. It's not weakened or clock data. So we need to enable OSDP. So let's tick that and then class, uh, click on save. And that'll send it through to the controller. With that done, let's go back to, this time we'll go to doors. We'll click on the door name, the door again. And we're going to go to OSDP readers. Now I've already connected the reader as per the manual. So, so the reader's powered up and it's ready to go. Um, all I need to do is click on auto discover. Okay. And what that's going to do is scan through each controller that's on the system and see which of those controllers has an, an OSDP reader. It's found one OSDP reader. Shall we overwrite existing? Okay. That's the reader uh, and that's on this controller. Let's click save. Okay. And now that, um, that reader is connected to our controller. And at this point we can leave install now because we, we've done, the, we've added the um, controller to the client. We've added, we've enabled the reader. So really we can finish with install and now we can open manage. While we're in manage, um, all I'm going to do is add a token. I'm going to add it to the generic 24 hour seven time group. Uh, in other videos, we show you how to create time groups, but for this moment, we'll just add um, a, gener a user to all our resort doors. So let's click add a user. The first name, we'll call it um, B L E token, B L E being the abbreviation for Bluetooth. A, so then you can add in personnel information if you need to, user group. This is what I was talking about, full access. That means all doors, all hours. Now we need to add the card number. So what we do is we go back into the portal and go to our site and then go to active credentials. You'll see the credential we've created before. And then we simply copy that, uh, that card number. So I'll copy that back to the um, software and paste that card number in and then save it. Saves have changed, okay. Lots of information, but this is a live event window. Uh, for instance, if I click the tamper switch, you can see it's live. Right, now I'm gonna open the app and it's in the doors online. If I click the button on the app, there we go. Uh, you can see there the details BLE token, so that could be somebody's name, access granted, and the time they were granted access. And that's the short way of 
setting up uh, a 1520 controller in um, Act Pro software and enabling a Bluetooth reader. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.